Parker from Robotic Rampage FTC Team 8094. We're here at Burton again for our regular Saturday meeting, and today we have ordered a one bone conversion kit for a 312 RPM motor from Good Build Up. We're gonna put that onto that motor. We're gonna test with our launch prototype that you guys have seen on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all those platforms in our shorts. We're gonna put all of our tests today into this long form video. Really hope you guys enjoy it. We'll be right back after this. This is a 6,000 RPM motor on our custom built hooded launch system. So that one would not count. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, no, wait. This slows down and speeds up way too slow. What? It's fine. We're testing right now. Make them put the brakes. Yeah. Make them put the brakes. So on. let me ask you this. So right now you have a program that what? What percentage? 65%. 65%. And you're pressing the button to turn it on, right? Is it possible to have like 65% and like 50? Yes. One button presses one, one button presses the other. Well, we need to figure yeah. out what percentage we need from like where we're at. Yeah, because we're, we're only yeah, that's, that's my point. But otherwise, as it currently stands, that's the only place that we can launch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In these clips, you can see us testing three positions on each launch line and testing different motor speeds and robot angles. At each position, we launched five artifacts and changed the motor speed and or robot angle until we got all five artifacts into the goal. Here, we discovered that if you load too many artifacts into our launch system, it can overwhelm the motor and the motor cannot spool back up enough between artifacts to continue launching with the same accuracy. Outside right now testing our uh, intake chute for our robot this year. Uh, currently we're testing it at 100% so we can calculate an equation so we can see uh, the arch at where the balls are landing to calculate for when we do it actually on the field. This will give us an equation which we can use and then we can use that equation for the RPMs for the field to get a rough estimate on what power we need, what angle we need in order to get the most accurate for the ball to shoot into the uh, hoop or shoe area. All 
right, guys, Parker and Rion, we're out to go get pizza, and we left Mayhar there to make sure they get work done while we're gone. Bam. He got like eight pizzas. So, gonna get all the pizza for the crew, and we'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, so we made it to Domino's, you know, like, and we're just cooking off with everything. Yes, we are at Domino's. We're getting a lot of pizza because we have almost everybody on the team present today. So, gotta get a lot of pizza. What do you think about the progress that we made today? Uh, so we're, doing, we're doing very good. We're doing, we're, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. We could do better, but we're doing good. When we get back to Burton with our giant car full of pizza, I think we're probably going to sit down while we eat and kind of just review what we did today, make a plan for wrap up in the last, you know, hour, 45 minutes or so, make sure we wrap, we wrap up good. And uh, we get ready to, to compete in a little under, uh, I think it's a month and a half before we have our first qualifier right here in Virginia, December 7th at North Cross School, come out and support your robotic rampage. One thing we are excited about is now that we have a ball launcher, we can not only use it for competitions, but we can also bring it to outreach events and we can shoot balls and have you guys try and catch them and reduce points and stuff like that. It should be pretty fun at our upcoming outreach events. Yeah. Hit us up at Robotic Rampage, you know. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, we're on Instagram at robotic.rampage, Facebook at robotic rampage, YouTube at robotic rampage FTC. And also, should note if you guys have any questions about this build, we can leave them down in the comments and then Rion can go answer them. Yeah, I'll answer them. I'm kidding, he, he doesn't answer them, but I'll answer. we'll do our best to answer them yeah. as fast as we can. But we'd love to hear your questions. You guys can also visit our website at bit.ly forward slash robotic rampage and we'll get back to you as quick, quick, quick as you can from there. Hey guys, so we're back with the pizza. Got it's eight pizzas. Eight pizzas is a ton. So hope we're gonna eat it all and then we the next one. Let's see. That should be the first thing that you're programming for, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if we can do that in part in the 30 seconds and score, then you're good. You record time I record this. Ready? What you see us doing here is stress testing the motor, and what I mean by that is we are running the motor for a minute solid at 100% power, and we are analyzing how well it performs and how hot it gets and the speed that it's able to run at continuously, and this way we know how it will perform in competition. So the motor is cool the entire time. It's not that bad, but but I worry that for 230 it might get kind of hot. But no, that was 100. I'm Colin, and today I'll be talking about how we designed our launcher for the 2025 FTC Decode season. So here we have a 312 RPM motor that's been converted into a 6000 RPM motor with a go build a one to one conversion kit, two Rhino wheels which are on a large shaft and then a hooded shooter constructed out of laser cut MDF and a metal backboard with grip tape to allow for extra traction. So a ball comes in here and it hits the, as it hits the flywheels, it's flung out the top into the goal. All right guys, that's a wrap for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our website at bit.ly forward slash robotic rampage. You can also check out all of the raw unedited test footage of our launch system by using the link down in the description. With that, good luck to all FTC teams this season. We'll see you next time.